So it's that time of year again where everyone makes resolutions to make themselves better in the new year or complete a resolution that they had in the previous or the previous year. And since most people partake in this ritual every year, I'm going to give you guys tips on how to make the best New Year's resolutions and keep those resolutions after you make them. My first tip is to make your New Year's resolution something positive. You can make it something like, I want to destroy this person and I resolve to destroy them in the new year, but I feel like it's better for you and for everyone else if your resolution is something about bettering yourself or bettering your own life or even someone else's life if you're just that good of a person. My next tip is to change up your resolution, either by making one different than you have in previous years. If you have the same resolution every year and you haven't fulfilled it, you're probably not going to fulfill it in the new year. For example, my friend resolves every year to exercise more or lose weight or go to the gym, something along those lines. I'm not saying she should stop trying to do that, but maybe instead of just saying that and not doing really anything, she'll say, I'm going to lose weight and do that by getting a personal trainer because I actually need someone to force me to exercise in order to exercise, and then she'll reach her goal. Either change up a new resolution that hasn't been working for you and you feel like okay that's that's not gonna happen realistically so either that or you keep your same resolution but change something about it so you actually do it in the new year my next tip is don't like pigeonhole yourself to just one resolution make a bunch of them and think long term that's kind of two tips but two in one so Think about your year and think about things that you should accomplish that year or that you feel like you have to accomplish that year and make them resolutions or goals or something and write them down so you don't forget them. Maybe even keep a chart or a list or like a goal chart if you're that organized. Um, <laughs> but if you're not, just try and remember them. Just think forward to the future of 2014 and think, what do I need to do this year? What are my ultimate goals? and what should I really resolve to accomplish this year? And then you'll just have these great goals going into the new year and it won't be something short term like, I don't know, in January I am going to go cliff diving. <laughs> I don't know if that's why the, that's the first thing I thought of for some reason, I don't know why. Last but not least, my tip is to be realistic. You don't want to make a new year's resolution that you're not actually going to be able to do unless you're just doing it for fun and people or people are like annoying you asking you what your new year's resolution is so you just say something random even though you don't want to make a resolution that's fine be realistic about it you know like if you're one of those people who want to lose weight don't say you're gonna lose like 10 pounds in two weeks. I mean, I know New Year's is a time to dream big and to try and resolve to do something really extreme or, you know, it's your ultimate goal for that year, so it's supposed to be something big. But just make it something big, but also something realistic, because otherwise you'll just end up like the majority of people who make New Year's resolutions and you won't actually do them. That's why I usually resolve things that are realistic or something that's just personal for myself that I think I can improve and I really put effort into working towards those resolutions or goals. If it'll help, I'll tell you my New Year's resolutions for the following year. So I have, they're mostly like academic <laughs> or boring work related type things, but here we go. First resolution is to graduate and finish out my undergrad with all A's. I'm only taking two classes graded, so hopefully they'll both be A's. Another one of my New Year's resolutions is to get a job because I'll be back living at home, jobless and bored. Third resolution is to take the foreign service exam because I think I might want to work in an embassy or something like that if I don't go to graduate school. I take my GRE because I didn't do that well the first time I took it. And if I don't do the foreign service thing exam or get into the foreign service, then I'm going to apply to PhD programs 
next year to go to grad school in 2015. Those are kind of boring New Year's resolutions. And then I also have fun ones that are as serious, like go to more concerts if I get a job, because otherwise I won't have the money. I hope I helped you guys um, think of New Year's resolutions or change the New Year's resolutions you already had or inspired you to actually keep your New Year's resolutions if you're one of those people who always makes them and doesn't actually keep them. And if you don't make them and don't like them, then that's totally fine too. I don't think people should wait for a new year to change something about themselves they want to change immediately. I also wanted to quickly thank everyone who liked my last video and understood that I was being completely sarcastic. I was hoping that most people would figure out that it was sarcasm just because the things I was saying were so ridiculous. I wasn't being completely blatantly sarcastic. I think I was trying to sound more like a valley girl or saying like more times or make my voice a little different to sound sarcastic but people don't know what my voice actually sounds like so thinking back that might not have worked out too well but thank you to everyone who did like the video i know this one wasn't super funny or anything but hopefully <laughs> i'll make funny videos in the future and you guys will continue liking them if you're a new subscriber thank you very much and i'll try to post videos more regularly than I have been because I don't, I'm not really a real YouTuber or anything. That's all. Happy New Year.